Hey everybody, welcome to the Mommy Diaries, a place for all of us moms to connect on the very fact that we were just mothers. So welcome, uh, doesn't matter what you know lifestyle you come from, if you're a stay-at-home mom, you're a full-time working mom, you work three part-time jobs, we can all connect to one fact, we're a mom. So welcome, nice to have you. This is just a place to come and feel uplifted for a few minutes out of your day. Um, and the one thing I wanted to share today was a reflection. These videos I share are always reflections often on myself <laughs> and I just share it in hopes that it'll help you because the reflections that I get um, are helpful for me to grow and change where I need to change. So that's where all of this comes from. Um, it may register with you, it may not, but I wanted to talk about today um, about our children and how they see us, specifically our daughters. But if you have sons, it matters too. But this is really inspired by a song I heard when I was cooking yesterday by Brett Young. Um, I believe it's called How to Be a Lady. And I was just listening to the words. It was a good beat. And I thought, oh, wow, like, this is a beautiful, touching song. Because in the song, he's talking about how he's pointing his daughter's attention and eyes to her mother on how to be a lady, on how to practice perfect gentleness, perfect patience, that if she ever needs to find a virtue to look for it in her mother, because the father loves the mom so much and feels that she's just um, in a good example for his daughter, pretty much, is what the song entails. And as I was listening to it, I was like, mm. <laughs> I am not that model of patience at all, God. And I was just so, con I guess, convicted in a healthy way, not in a self-critical way, but just in an eye-opening way to really start thinking about how I behave in front of my daughter. And also in front of my son, because I have a boy now, which is nice. Um, but it does matter for both. First, I was thinking, you know, it matters more for girls, for daughters and mothers. But no, it does matter for both sexes. You know, if you have a son, how you behave in front of them and how you treat dad and how you treat other people and how you treat other women is what you're modeling to him. And we want our sons to grow up. And if they decide to get married, to marry good women not to marry their self-critical moms or their judgmental moms or their moms that always have something to say about somebody else, right? So if you think about it, um, yeah, it does matter how we behave in front of our children as moms, regardless if we have boys or girls. Excuse me for a minute. I'm just cooking my, my chicken or my meat over here, my beef. Um, and so it got me thinking about my own self and my own actions and I was like man like this is such a hard one to live out you know it re it, re it requires a lot more self-control and a lot more um a lot more desire to change because it's not just us living in our singlehood anymore um sorry it's not just us living in our singlehood anymore but it's us living as moms and uh, living in front of our children. So, uh, yeah, it got me thinking. I was like, wow, you know, how do we act in front of our kids? Do we fight with dad in front of our kids? I have a few times, you know, giving my opinion when I can keep my mouth shut and wait till later when they go to bed or have a nap or something, just talk out whatever my opinion was, you know? Um, how do we act before we go to mass with our kids? Before we put our beautiful Catholic veil over our head walking into mass, how did we act in the car? How did we treat our children? How did we treat our husband, y'all? And I'm talking to myself because, yeah, what was it? Last, last mass, um, it was something that I disagreed with. Not disagreed with. I was irritable about a situation, and I was just venting to my husband, and it made no sense. <laughs> It made no sense when he had handled it already, but I was so angry and upset about a situation and unhappy with the situation that here I am, you know, yakking my mouth while he's getting my daughter dressed. I'm just unloading all this stuff and I put my Catholic veil on and we go to mass, right? Um, well, I'll take it back. Sorry. I didn't wear a veil that day. I forgot, but you get my point. And then in mass, I'm like, you know, praying to God, like, Oh God, I'm sorry. Like, Oh gosh, that was ugly. Why did I do that? You know? Um, so anyway, you get, you get my gist, you get where I'm going with this. How are we behaving in front of our kids? And yeah, we're not going to be perfect, but that's where we can practice perfect humility and telling our kids, you know, we don't act this way as ladies, as women of God. 
as um, daughters of God, we don't act like this. As wives, we're not supposed to act like this, you know? Um, and I think maybe, hopefully, in me and us practicing those moments of being honest and saying, I'm sorry, like, that's not the way you want to act. It would give me the hope that our children, or my children at least, wouldn't mimic patterns after me. And hopefully it would give me a good reminder, and maybe you a reminder, to really pay better attention at, at what we're doing in front of our kids and asking for the Holy Spirit to help us to shut our mouths when we need to shut our mouths, to hold our tongue when we need to hold our tongue, to have a better temperament, um, to treat somebody you know with more kindness, to judge that person a little less and pray more for them versus judging them. Um, because our kids are watching. Our kids are watching. And a perfect example of this is Sometimes I'll put like a little bit of blush on that I enjoy, my, you know, mascara, my eyebrows, and my daughter wants to play with my makeup bag, which is fine. And then one day, you know, she really wanted something in the bag. I'm like, okay, she wants one of my makeup pieces. Okay. So I give her the, the cream blush because I didn't think she could take off the cap, but she could. And I just let her play with it thinking, ah, she, I don't think she's going to eat it. I know my child. She doesn't really do that too much. <laughs> And she didn't eat it, but when I came out, she had some on her face, like a nice chunk right here, because she was trying to put blush on her face like mom. And um, it just it was it's a small example to show, like, they're looking at you. They're looking at me. What are we doing? They're looking, and yeah, this is makeup. There's nothing I have against makeup. But when we put the makeup on, why are we putting it on? That's another conversation for another day and another video for another day. Are we putting the makeup on because we don't feel good enough without it? And is that what we're portraying to our children, to our daughters? Are we comfortable in our own skin? That's a hard one. That's a really, really hard one. Because for many, 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 many years, like I was so insecure in my own skin. Um, and sometimes for good reason, you know, for breakouts or just wanting to look more beautiful because of the ads that we see on Instagram and on all time we go shopping, right? All that stuff. It messes with a girl's head. So you know what you need to do, mom. I know what I need to do, mom. And we need to make sure that we're guiding our little ones well, the best we can when we mess up to be humble and to say we're sorry and be honest and tell them this isn't what you want to do because this isn't the way God intended us for us to live. And it's not the way um, we want them to grow up and mimic their behaviors after us because they're watching us. They're learning. We are their number one example to learn from right now. And if you and I are controlling, you know, out of, you know, moms are out of control with our temper or judging other people all the time or yakking our mouths all the time, they're watching that. They see that. So I encourage you and I encourage myself, let's ask for the Holy Spirit's help more. Let's pray and ask for Mary to help us more in our womanhood and our motherhood where we've been wounded and to help heal us where we're overly controlling, where we're overbearing, where we're judgmental, where we're, you know, insecure in our skin. Let's ask for her help so we can grow and become beautiful, holy women of God humble women of God, being perfect in grace, not in perfection, because we're never going to be perfect, but being perfect in grace before our kids. That's where it's at. And it's a journey for all of us to get there. We're not just going to arrive, you know, in five years and say, oh, we're here. It's a constant journey, I think. But let's start now because these years that we have now, especially if you're a mom with kids, whether you're staying at home or you're working and you see them in the evenings, it, it all matters. They see you and they see me. So I hope that helps somebody out there and at least convicts somebody in a good way, not for you to be self-critical after this, but for you just to look at your life and look at who you are and um, take that into account to realize like, hey, God's given you these kids to shepherd and how are we, how are we shepherding them? So I hope it encourages you. It's a good encouragement for me. It's a hard one, but one that is important and one that's necessary. So God bless you. Have a good day. Share, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this and share it with anybody that you think could benefit from this video in a good way.